7,730 pounds, a shorter Jayco Eagle, actually originally here from Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. You can see our original stock number written on the tongue. You may also notice this has a gooseneck conversion applied to it. That can go with the RV, it can be removed. So don't think for a second, you're like, well, I've already got a fifth wheel hitch. Well, you know, I can't tow this one. That can come on, that can come off, no big deal. This is the type of layout that has long appealed to the uh, very outdoorsy type. The folks that like to get out and go versus the people like to, you know, be stuck at a park. The shorter length of it makes it ideal for folks who want to add. There's like a two inch receiver hitch on the back, but for folks who really want to add a heavy duty towing hitch and do some like doubles towing with like a boat or something behind it, this floor plan has always been favored for something like that. I tell you, for a smaller model though, it is loaded up with just a ton of storage space. That's one of the things this layout has always done well, is just huge cabinets and spaces everywhere, and a larger Max Air vent fan back here for that off-grid uh, airflow to really keep that air cycling. Now, if you follow these big overhead cabinets, then you see this, like, bigger than the refrigerator closet over there. This thing has a massive amount of storage potential. Now, originally, there would have been some kind of sofa mounted here. And if you look down, you can actually still see the base mounts of where that was located, but it was pulled out for uh, a set of uh, Euro recliners there. They're swivel rocking recliner chairs with this huge campsite window. So, as compared to a lot of fifth wheels, they give you windows in a lot of places, except under your awning. This one gives you that amazing view of your destination and your campsite. It does look like all the original electronics are all present and accounted for. You can see some extra storage above your entertainment center there. And that TV is on a pivoting mount, by the way. So if you want to make it face toward those chairs that we saw, you definitely can. The tabletop has been replaced at some point. Beautiful hardwood lacquered tabletop on that thing. And this is an extension dinette. Both ends of that U dinette actually telescope out. You could use either as storage drawers or you could use it as uh, extra seating. Um, I'm trying to be fair and but be, you know, critical and picky all at the same time. I mean, given looking at this thing through the lens of time, it looks pretty good. Like your cabinetry and stuff isn't exactly roughed up or anything. Um, if I'm going to be ultra picky, this shade right here just needs restrung real quick. And I noticed at some point how it got in, I'm not exactly sure. But at some point, there was a measure of water exposure that came in in that corner right there. I believe it was probably from the slide. It could be if the slide was, if it was raining cats and dogs when the slide was opening or closing, or if the slide didn't get opened or closed properly. It could have wicked in through that corner, but the flooring and everything is still solid. You can see where that uh, bottom of that cabinetry did uh, soak up a little bit of that and sponge swell and crack the uh, uh, fascia paper on it, basically, the contact decor wrap. But it all seems to be all right. You know, it's there. It's cosmetic, but it's there, and I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to hide. Classic fifth wheel, there is a step-up bedroom here. That's just how they were built when this was made. Someone's going to say, why does it have the step around the bed? Well, remember, man, this thing's not a, you know, 2021 model or anything like that. Uh, also, a no-slide uh, bedroom here, but you've got the dual hanging wardrobe closets. I love that headboard with the dual outlets. And as I whip around here, extra closet and hamper space. That bottom thing there is a tilt-open laundry hamper with a very simple, small, basic set of entertainment hookups above. Closet-style private uh, toilet area in there. And one thing about these split baths, they leave you these huge open floor spaces. So when you get out of that shower, if you need room to get dressed or get dressed in the morning, you've got plenty of room to do it. And that is a plenty tall shower since it's kind of on a middle bath deck. And just so you can say you saw in here, just a quick peek in the little bath closet. One other neat note in here, it has another of those larger vent fans for some superior airflow, which is one of the reasons this door doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. If you're dry camping, you're going to love these 12 volt fans because you can leave this bathroom door closed and all the heat from you breathing and just existing It'll rise up here to the roof, it'll get sucked out that fan and recycle some cooler air in through those windows to keep you comfy at night. And for a small RV, this has a really impressive pass-through storage compartment. That is just enormous in there, you know? And you saw there's a couple extra accessories that they're leaving behind. Um, another quick note reminder, again, that gooseneck adapter, it can come with the RV. We can always pull it off there for you if you don't want that, no sweat. 
and it is crazy how much Eagles have changed over the years. It's not like this thing is a, a 1992 model. It ain't that old, but good gravy does it look just massively different nowadays. Anyway, uh, power front uh, leveling jacks kind of does all the uh, heavy lifting for you. The skin and the decals overall look pretty darn good. Um, tires look good. I did notice the front tire on the passenger side, the opposite side of the RV, is on a white steel rim, but I see the full spare below, so it makes me think that at one point this person had a flat tire, uh, replaced the bad tire, and just simply put it back under the belly of the fifth wheel. One of the benefits of this one, again, is its shorter length, which makes it ideal for folks who just don't want a big imposing thing who like those campsites that are a little tighter to get into. Or if you, again, wanted to bulk up the hitching situation on the back here and do some recreational doubles towing with a boat on the back, this would be a uh, really good model to do something like that with. Again, as it stands, you can see there is just a simple uh, accessory bolt-on hitch. That'd be good for like a little light duty uh uh, what am I wanting to say? Bike rack or something of that nature. Now, one thing that kind of stood out about Jayco's during the generation this was built is they had two inch deeper uh, step planks. So it's actually got extra big steps and that larger handle is going to make it easier to come and go as you pop in and out. The roof looks about like a roof should look if it's been in use and outdoors for the majority of summer. It looks like the folks were pretty good about seasonal maintenance and upkeep and Things like this, the uh, the skylight has been completely peeled and sealed. I don't see any areas. I've walked all over this roof. I can't find a weak spot. So they were obviously right on top of their maintenance care uh, routine uh, upkeep records. You saw the Max Air vent cover added over the bedroom. You can see the bigger one added over the kitchen because it has the nicer fan there. And actually, that's the variety of fan that's so powerful. If you put a cheap one on, it'll actually suck down that cover and crush it. Quick little look for you here at our little consignment lot. This is the third of uh, three places that we park things here at Haylet RV. Every one of these RVs you see, we sell for folks, but here's the good news. Doesn't matter if we have it for sale or if we're selling it for someone, we still do it all. Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.